On today's Fast Friday, I'm gonna talk about a problem, a little bug, a little quirk, a little annoyance on Fujifilm cameras that affects focus checking. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal the Tech. Next to capturing good sound, getting your footage in focus is the single most important part of using your Fujifilm camera for video. Professional videographers use manual focus lenses all the time, and it's critical that the camera allow for a consistent and reliable focus checking. Now, many Fujifilm cameras have focus check mode. On the Fujifilm X-T4, it's actually a separate setting for both stills and movie mode. So if you have the dial switched into movie, you'll find the setting for it in your AF-MF section of your menu right here. And same thing if you're in stills mode, it is also in the AF-MF section of the stills menu. Now, when you turn it on, let me show you what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you have the camera set to manual focus mode. Now, when you go to focus in on something and you start to rotate the focus ring, watch what happens. As soon as you start to turn the focus ring, look at this. You see that jump? It jumps right in. And then you have a close-up view of what you can focus on. And to get out of that mode and go back to the regular frame, simply lightly press down on the shutter release button. Boom, just like that. Again, when it's in stills mode, simply rotate the focus ring, it zooms in, then focus, right? And when you're done, you lightly press on the shutter release to reset the camera back to the regular view. Okay, so here's the problem. And I wanna mention that this issue was pointed out to me by one of our viewers named Simon. Good job, Simon. Let me tell everyone what the issue is. If you go and put the camera in movie mode, and if you go into your menu in AFMF and you make sure that focus check in movie mode is turned on, now, same thing. You aim the camera at your subject and you start to rotate the focus ring. Watch what happens. Okay, I'm gonna start to rotate the focus ring. Here we go, and boom. It did exactly what it should have done. Now that I can see zoomed in, I'm gonna go ahead and focus. Now, when I go to get out of that mode, that zoomed in mode and pull it back, watch what happens. Nothing, it won't go out. Pressing down halfway on the shutter button will not reset it back out. It'll do that for stills, it will not do it for movie mode. And when you think about it, it's actually more necessary for movie mode to have it because in movie mode, a lot of people are using manual focus cinema lenses. Now there's currently two workarounds that Simon mentioned that he was able to find out and I have a third that I'm gonna tell you. The first one is simply to use the rear command dial. In other words, once you've zoomed in and you've checked your focus, press in one time on the rear command dial and that'll reset you back. Another way that you can get the frame zoomed back out is to double tap the LCD screen just like this. Now the problem with these two workarounds that Simon mentioned and I totally agree is that it can cause the camera to slightly shake when you're doing them right if you're trying to press in the rear command dial that tap tap it shakes the camera a little bit same thing with tapping the screen you don't want to be doing that when you're filming video so I did come up with one other workaround let me show you what it is I use this button right here because when you're holding the camera like this and you've got your fingers right here it's very easy to press that button and not shake shake the camera and pull back out of that focus frame. It's very easy to set up this workaround. Simply press and hold down the DISP back button on the back of the camera. Simply find the button right here, go into the settings and look for focus check, boom. Now, if you try and go and do the same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly rotate the lens focus ring. Check my focus, okay, looking good. Now, before shooting, if I wanna see the frame of my shot, I take my finger and I lightly press the front button. Boom just like that. That's the best workaround I think I've been able to find. However, if you can figure out another one, let me know. Fuji, I know a workaround you could do. How about a firmware update that gets rid of that problem? Or if there's a good reason to have it like that, how about a way for us to switch it on or off in the menu? Speaking of which, yeah. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna mention this. I have had so many people ask me about this 13 millimeter Viltrox lens, when am I going to review it? When is it gonna be on the channel? They see it in just about every video and you can't ignore it after this video. Well, I have yet to hear back 
from Viltrox. Last I heard from them, everything was on hold. They're going to wait till February. Now we're into March. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to write one, and I mean one more email communication to Viltrox, and I'm going to ask them when and if it's okay to review this lens. If they don't respond, or if they say no, then there will be no review of this lens. I'll put it right there. Right there is where it's going to go. Viltrox, if you are watching, please let me know when and if it's okay to review this lens. My audience wants this, <laughs> okay? And I'd like to do it. It's, you know, kind of a tease just having this lens like this. However, if for whatever reason you do not want this lens reviewed, I will respect your wishes and I will not review it. But please let me know either way. Well, that's about it for today's Fast Friday. I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'm going to be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in a video next week. Take care.